everyone, welcome! I'm so glad you're here. Welcome back to my pleasant new Let's Play. This is episode 5, we're doing the Dreamer Family. Just a quick recap of what we've already done. Episode 4 had the, or not the Kelly and Day sisters, that was episode 3. Episode 4 had Mr. Lothario himself, Dom Lothario, who is now a family sim, which has been very exciting seeing how that's going. Um... If you're new here, welcome. I'm White Lodge. It's so nice to meet you. Um, hope you like to stay a while. Uh, this is my pleasant new Let's Play where we take all of the original Pleasant View pre-maids and rearrange their, or randomize, not really rearrange, randomize their aspirations and see what chaos comes of it. Um, so yeah, last episode we did do the Lothario family like I had previously said. Let me give you a quick recap on that and then we get into me showing you Dirk and Darren Dreamer, which I'm very excited about. Um, last episode, Don had a date with Nina, despite being engaged to Cassandra. Ooh, scandalous. Um, he rolled the want to marry Nina, which was, like, surprising. I didn't expect it to just happen out of the blue like that, but I was like, all right, let's go with it. So he's got that locked in. Um, they woohooed. Ooh. <laughs> and then Nina sp stayed the night. So they did effectively kind of have a... An, more exciting round than I think some of the past rounds. More of the Calientes was a bit lower speed. So now I feel like we're really getting the ball rolling on what's going on. Um, yeah, the Dreamers, the house looks just the same. I haven't really done anything to it yet. Um, soon after the setup shot, or I keep saying setup shot. I don't know where that comes from. After the setup episode that I do, you know, we can go through and I was thinking about if people were interested in it. Um, or not, not even if people are interested, if I'm interested in doing it, having like half episodes where it is just me decorating the houses before we you know get back to it which really like more decorating as in changing the wallpaper the flooring and then the floor plan rather than like buying new furniture and then we can buy new furniture in game but i digress so let's give you let me give you a show of the dreamers their makeover and their um new aspirations so let's start with darren who i always give these sunglasses i need to figure out where this custom content came from but I always give him these head sunglasses rather than his face sunglasses I just think it looks better and he these eyes look great on him I'll have to link that in the description but um here is family sim Darren nope yep Darren I, Darren and Dirk it's the D names that keep tripping me up I'm gonna say dust in this episode just watch that happen it's it's gonna happen but we've got Darren and he is just a family sim now and I believe if I'm correct he's just a, f a straight family sim yep Straight family Sim Darren. Um, yeah, so his lifetime want now is to graduate three children from college. I am reading this for the first time with you, dear viewer. Um, that's a really heavy thing, especially close to being half to the uh, halfway through the adult life stage. So I that's probably not going to be happening unless he starts adopting some teens, which would be actually pretty nice. So let's mm, I'm going to put a pin in that because that sounds that sounds quite nice. Um. Yeah, so unemployed as usual. Um, he's got all the bills all around the house as well because uh, while the scripted events haven't happened, things like I think Don is hanging out at the Goths house still. Um, the bills here, like those that are kind of set objects and people in different places are still in the game, even though, yeah, I don't think they have a, a specific uh, scripted event that happens here. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself, but... Um, that's interest. What am I looking for? There we go. The turn on and turn off. So he really likes an artistic, clean kind of woman and does not like brunettes. So Cassandra, I guess, still kind of considers that, but he doesn't find her attractive, which is hilarious because he has a rolled want to kiss Cassandra. Um, and he doesn't like Don. I don't look in Dreamers <laughs> or in uh, Darren's relationships panel very often. I like playing as Darren, but I usually do have... He doesn't really interact with, other than his son, the other pre-maids. I usually have him go for like, mm, I've had him get with Trisha. Yeah, Trisha's the mom. Trisha Traveler before, um, or what, the Otimus mom. I don't know why I keep like breaking up other families for him, but that he seems to kind of fit in that. Um, I've had him get with Brandy once, but that was that was years ago. Um, all right, let's go to Dirk. So we saw a little bit of Dirk when we went to go visit the Pleasant Sisters. Here's his whole whole look, which I like. I don't know if I love those shoes or that outfit, but I like this shirt a lot. It has a, the print is really, is really nice. Um, 
he is a pleasure sim and because he's a teen he's just gonna be a pleasure sim like he's not gonna have a secondary aspiration I'm considering that's something that they will get when they go to full adulthood after university if they do end up going to university we'll play through that um I don't think he has a job he goes to school um his turn-ons are makeup and blonde hair so that's what we got going on that he has double bolts with both Angela and Lilith, and which is fascinating because I feel like they're just so different so that, I don't know, I guess, yeah, I, I could see it going either way with either of them. Um, yeah. So let me give the wants a good reroll. Um, I will say that he already, or Dirk already has had his wants rerolled when he had a, because he had a date with Lilith and it just kind of did that. But just for po poster posterity, is it posterity? Or is pros it's not prosperity sake that's funny <laughs> just posterity i'm sorry it's just for posterity's sake we're just gonna reroll all the wants to fit more in with their new aspirations so kiss cassandra i think this is the same i feel like see a ghost wasn't on there before which is interesting because he's still a family sim so i don't know if that's just kind of like a leftover holdout from being not a family sim let's reroll your wants see what you want friend okay I'm actually going to lock, get a job in, and let's see his lifetime want to be a professional party guest. I like that. I like that for Dirk. I see him as a really relaxed kind of guy. I think Dustin is a bit more, I don't want to use the word anxious, but I do feel like Dustin's a lot more high intensity, you know, coming from more of an unstable home life. And and Dirk really doesn't have that as much, um, even though while he, you know, his mom has passed, but I feel like... Um, Darren can offer the emotional stability that Brandy could not and i say could in past past tense because as we all know brandy just died <laughs> in episode two so that was exciting um let me read you the family bio that i wrote for the dreamers let me pull that up real quick okay after a disastrous fire took the life of beloved wife and mother Darlene, Darren is determined to support his son Dirk while he finds himself. Is rebellious Lilith Pleasant the right path for Dirk, or is there more to life than sneaking out and making out? All right, let's get into it. What are you going to do? Aw, tell a joke. Wait a minute. Oh, my. I feel like we should just pay oh it's raining I feel like we should just pay the bills like just get that out of the way if the oh I was gonna say if the newspaper was here already I would totally be down to have Dirk just get a job immediately but we can wait be congratulated on what you've done nothing <laughs> um yeah so we're just gonna have you pee I'm actually gonna Okay, good. I thought he was going for the toilet. I gotta move this. I do this every playthrough. I haven't... I was literally just talking about how I haven't, um, really planned on doing anything with the houses yet, but this this just drives me up a wall. Oh, we are just out of range. Oh, if I sell that, yeah. I'm, I'm so silly. I was gonna say that this, we're just out of the range for that, but I, I need there not to be a second door into that bathroom that just really pisses me off <laughs> there's i mean that sounds so strong but it just really really bugs me um we're gonna keep that curtain white for now and then we can do some more renovations later because i am feeling a bit more like i know i sound all high intense but i'm feeling a little more relaxed and just kind of in the mood to do some decorating so if it's not in this episode like i might just you know i got i got a lot of free time today <laughs> i might just uh film the like another episode or something where I just do some reorgan not yeah I'll call it reorganizing just some redecorating and stuff like that in some of the other houses um mm. excuse me fix up the weird maxis shaped rooms which all the like playable houses really it's like acceptable but all of the um oh yeah there's all the bills let's just pay the bills we can um it's more acceptable for the pre-made homes but it's not as acceptable in the uh Maxis bin houses, that's what I'm gonna call them, even though they're, oh, I've never seen that, that's really funny. <laughs> there he is. So you wanna kiss Cassandra, I think I'm actually gonna give her a ring. I mean, maybe physically a ring, but we're gonna give her a call and use the bathroom. Just invite her over. I don't know, I, I need to see in person if they do have any chemistry together. Because if they do have some chemistry, like, that would be pretty great. Because we need to do something with Cassandra now. Oh. I forgot Cassandra. I, 
I really hope that's not too loud in game. I'm sorry, I haven't had it rain yet. Um, then what do you want to do? Reach creativity level eight. No, it's just paint. I feel like, um, is that a fire? Oh, it's outside. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I hate that. Like, if, if it, I'm like, if you're gonna go off, I, I kind of would like a bit more of a, some real flames. <laughs> um, I forget what I was saying. Um, but I think whatever I was saying along the lines of, um, I like Dirk. Or not Dirk. Dang it! Again with the D names. I like Darren. I feel like I really give him, uh... He doesn't do much. He's good as a supporting character, but when it really is just me going, okay, let's just grind one skill, because that typically seems to be the thing that he wants. Which is fine. For a little bit. But then I get him on this weird sleep schedule where he only sleeps in... Yeah, where he has a night... He has a night sleep schedule. It's just this whole thing. He wants to flirt... I wish Cassandra was home from work. Oh, there's Dirk. Oh, you're home. Yay. What do you want? To buy a car? We're not buying a car. We can barely... We couldn't afford the bills. There's no car in... You know, and you want to make a friend. Who do we... Why don't we call Dustin? I'd like him to call Angela because they're closer to... Oh, you talk to your dad. Maybe you should paint that. <laughs> it's so morbid. Tell your dad the hot goss from school today. Dustin. Guess what Dustin did, Dad? Dustin. He's not even gonna say anything special. It's just he's probably gossiping about Dustin's mom. Uh, yeah. It's kind of morbid. I'm not a big fan of that. Keep your son off. And then maybe... Uh, I was gonna say, and then maybe invite Cassandra over, but I, we already tried that. I guess I will. Are you friends now? Sweet. And then you wanna buy... I, that feels like a waste of a want, bro. Like, I get it. Oh, let's go on a date. Oh, of course, because he's a pleasure sim. See, I keep forgetting some things. I want you to do your homework, so you're gonna do your homework. Cassandra comes over, maybe we can have Chinese food. Yeah, you can invite your dad. <laughs> maybe not Chinese food because we're broke, so maybe we can make fruit meal. Cheese. Oh, I should have picked hot dogs. That's okay. Okay. You're all good now, right? Oh, you're bored. <laughs> There's. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now I get to show you the Cassandra. I really, really, really love. This is a good shot. I really love this uh, makeover I gave her. This top from The Sims 4 is just phenomenal. But there she is. Usually I take her glasses away, but I kind of like her being in this more moody kind of thing. Like, usually I do see her as, like, this high gothic feminine, you know, look. But this is just, I don't know. I was channeling, I don't want to say I'm channeling Sir Speaker, but I am kind of just thinking more. I want more of a moody, muted Cassandra. I don't know. Even as a pleasure sim. I, is she a pleasure? I, I should know this. This is my game. I should absolutely know this. I'm sorry. Do, do, do. Scrolling through my there we go. Okay. So we've got popularity, pleasure, Cassandra. I was close. I know she's so um what is it? She is so shy. So I'm not really sure I'm gonna interpret that when we get to the goths in a couple episodes. Like I can kind of go more on that with you. We um have a fortune popularity murderer and then just regular Alex, who I can't wait till he ages up, because I feel like the the kids are so much like Lucy Burb is great as a as a not a child like she's a great character as a teen. We're gonna have you greet Cassandra because I really don't want a uh, I don't want him to just to grab her and smooch her because he's in love with her and I just I'm not in the mood for that right now. Mm.
Mm-hmm. All right. Great mortar. And then great Alex. This just feels like when a students give on Nina. You know, when you're a kid and then your parents invite their friends over and then their go? kid sure, is you're I like, should. Oh, you're around the same age and then you're not at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's just hanging out with like a, a, a child child be kissed lightly by cassandra no don't bring the freaking food upstairs that 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 doesn't work for me darren that that doesn't call to meal everyone we're all hungry let's eat we saw this guy before Sure, well, they could be good friends when Alex ages up. Look at them. Where's Mortimer? Is he outside? I can't click on him. This isn't his house. Duh. You're bored. Let's play games. You really want to kiss her? How about we flirt? Check him out. I just want to know. I don't think I've ever really had Darren and Cassandra get- maybe once. I don't know. I, if I said that I did earlier, I'm sorry that I'm wrong now, but I'm not- <laughs> That's funny. But she smells good. <laughs> I wonder why they just don't vibe with one another. Maybe I can ask her, do you like what you see? That's a good idea. Ass. I like what you see. Does that count as a flirt? I would love to know. Oh, is she gonna play with her? That's fun. Ass. Alexander is enjoying. He's just friendly. I feel like Dirk's just here to have a good time. Like, I, I really, in, in no way I, could I ever see Dirk as, like, the quote, quote, the bad guy. Hey, do you think I look hot? Oh, she doesn't like fit guys. That sucks. Where are you going? Oh, I thought they were like, I'm gonna go do something. Right now. That's, you do wanna. That, that, that doesn't count as a flirt. I don't wanna just caress you. Well, you know what? We'll just caress. Ser serenade, serenade, serenade. That's what we're gonna do. Because I wanna watch that fail. That's so morbid of me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's like, oh, what happened? She fell in love with him, but they're just not attracted to one another. That's really interesting. Congrats. Uh, do I? Does he know? He knows nobody else. I feel like he could really find someone better than Cassandra, though. This like, this romance thing isn't really working for me. But we're just gonna wait it out as, as we're doing. We're gonna wait it out. We're gonna see. He's so we're gonna let me. We, we're gonna wait it out and see, as this is just the setup day, and just kind of see what happens from there. Because I would love that. Oh, I've never seen that before. I've never seen them slam their face on the remote. That's hilarious. Um, I don't know how I missed that. Uh, we're just gonna wait and see, and then um, eventually maybe he does end up with Cassandra. Maybe not. Like, I don't know. I, I don't want to talk so much about Cassandra in the, this playthrough, but I like the female sims better. I can't. Can you, can you blame me, dog? You know what? I'm gonna have you eat another bowl because you're still hungry. And then let's ask Lil without. We have no money. That's not. Oh, he's gotta get a job, guys. I totally forgot about that. Where's the newspaper? They have a computer. I'm an idiot. I'm literally an idiot. Let's find a job. Eat your food. There and clean up. I'll find a job. And then maybe ask Sim on date. Ask permission to go out. And then we'll see if he says yes or no. I really don't like that you went upstairs for that, buddy, but alright. It's so late and way past bedtime. Ask permission to go out. Can I please go out? Can I please go out with Lilith? Okay. Alright, let's find a job before I forget. You don't have to do it twice. Ask out on date. 
Mm, I hear the ghostly sounds of Darlene. The angry ghostly sounds. Music career. I'm not feeling it. Journalism. He does. That does make sense for him though. Dance. We're not doing nanny. That's a mod I have. I just. I don't take job. <laughs> he literally clicked on it. I'm, oh. I guess we can. Yeah. Ask Lula on a date. Maybe she can come over. Home. Learn to juggle. I wish there was a this this is so silly i wish they had like a uh oh, does he like music i forget the other stuff mm, okay why not um i wish there was a this is so silly i wish there was a mod for what is this stay home from work. you literally just got a job what was the point? <laughs> I keep losing track of what I'm trying to say. I wish there was a mod that lets two sims play um, computer game. Oh, I have my hand over my face. Dang it. I wish there was a mod that let two sims play a computer game together like the very early or like the mid 2000s thing when you sit next to your friend and you're both playing the sims and then you just go back and forth between the computer that I know is a shared thing that everybody has done. Like I, I, I have no doubt about that being something that every single person that probably has watches this has done. I forgot she's a romance sim. There she is. Taking deep breaths. A little joke. What up, Lil? Slow dance with dirt. Got a pillow fight. Play. We can have a pillow fight. If I can find that again, I always, I always lose play. Excuse me. <laughs> I feel like I heard a punch from that. Like you just smacked her. I don't think she likes Lilith, guys. What's Darren doing? Is he sleeping? Yeah. That's fine. Talk to Dirk. He wants to DJ or smuzzle dance. I mean, that can be arranged. They are so cute. They really are. Oh, okay. I said they were cute, and then now I'm like, okay, let's just do a lot of kissing. Meet someone new. Hug Dirk. I love the the teen squeeze hug interaction. It's just so cute. I'm a dream date with a little girl. What's happening? Back row. This is their second date. So cute. Some old hands. I'm not. You're not dancing. I don't want you to dance. You, even if you want a muscle dance. I see the bills reminder. We have thirty nine dollars. Yeah. We're just mm. pumping out these wants. Oh, Mortimer's here? Ugh. Can you... Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Please leave. <laughs> oh, it's a dream date. Hug. We'll do another squeeze. This is just grinding out aspiration points, so. <laughs> but it is like 1241, so. We might have to be ending the ticket. Oh, all of the two people! Gotta lock that in for her. We can one, just one more make out. <laughs> it keeps coming up. Give her maybe. I, I I used to be confused with them then as a child. <laughs> okay, let's we're gonna end the date now. Please, please, please! I can't wait to tell my friends. <laughs> Dude, is she raging out there? Please don't go in the house. 
Bye, Lil. I like how- I feel like they get a little motive boost when they have a good date. Records real quick. Does he like music? Does he like music? Is there- is music a- entertainment? Does that count? Whew. How am I not seeing this if there is music? Okay, no, looks like music isn't a thing. I guess entertainment would count, so yeah. Oh, that- I'm so silly. Yeah, it does. I kind of want to give him like a mini we have $39 I was literally about to say I kind of want to give him a little mini room makeover and then I'm like no we have money is an object for this house maybe if we finish that painting we wake up continue painting it is 2.50 again like I said I get Darren on that terrible 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 sleep schedule like nightmare monstrous sleep schedule I feel like this is oh there we go sell for $68 and that's he's just gonna get that fear sell a lousy painting well we need money maybe maybe sometimes fears can come true <laughs> that's okay just paint another <laughs> oh did he auto do that oh jerk up oh he is up Okay, so we do have $100. That's not enough to work with. I wanted to give him a little room makeover, but, you know. Oh! Let's go view that bouquet. That's so cute. We can put that in his room. We'll put that somewhere. We can buy another nightstand. Dear Dirk, I never knew two sims like us could share such happy hours. Each se lovely second's memory smells sweeter than these flowers. Lilith. Oh. Very cute. We're just gonna put that there for now. Oh, and I, I should spawn... ACR. Show my token. Okay. I keep forgetting to do that. Bill reminder, bill reminder. I'm gonna pause it because it's 7 a.m. But let me at least change the model to something nice. Not the outdoor hydrangea. I never use that. Maybe the ficus? No. We can do a fig tree. Maybe there's a fig tree upstairs I can. Oh, they do have the. This. Fill, fill a. Guys, give me a second. I'm sorry. Oh, it does just say rubber tree plant. That's funny. Adjuster. Doesn't that have the name for it? Philodendron. Yeah. We got a little cash. Maybe we can do a little a little rearranging just so you don't have the cheap... Mm. I guess we can't. <laughs> just so he doesn't have the cheapest bed. I know everybody else does, but that doesn't mean we need him to have the cheapest bed, too. Two energy. It's also, like, the, I like how it looks, so I don't know why this has to be such a rough bed. <sighs> this is my problem with the Ikea stuff, though, is that when you start getting Ikea stuff, then you are kind of committed to a specific, uh, what's the word? Like, it's just a specific thing. You're always gonna have Ikea beds. Or Ikea furniture. I feel like we should have used that money to buy, to, to pay for the bills, but I feel like we've already committed since it's already... In his room, so. Oops. <laughs> I, I know these are flowers, but I like that a lot. I don't have a lot of uh, more like masculine bed sheets and stuff. I am just kind of clicking whatever. I don't see him as full goth. I just see him as more. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that does look better than the other one. Okay, eight dollars. We are leaving them with eight dollars. Eight dollars. Actually, can we? Two hundred dollars. Hey, this is what I'm saying. Once you start opening up the the idea for IKEA stuff for you, it doesn't stop. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice sounds hoarse. I have no idea what's going on. Can you get that in black? Oh, you know what? That actually doesn't look that bad. I hate the- I really don't like these big dressers, but... Can I put that on it? Nope. Never mind, then. Hmm. Would this look good? Of course not. Hmm. 
nah, we'll just leave the big one for now. And then once they grind a little bit of money, then we can change it a bit. Because, like, these first, like, the cheapest beds are not working for me here. Okay, well, I mean, I guess that's it then for now. This is the, the Dreamer family. Um, I, I liked this playthrough. Nothing too crazy. Just, you know... Well, actually a little bit since uh, Darren and Cassandra, I was going to say Cass and I just continued on, that Darren and Cassandra fell in love, so or she fell in love with him and they did smooch. So, um, yeah, anyways, I thought it went pretty well. Next episode, we do have the goth family. So this is going to be the last of the set-in pre-maids. And then after the goths, I'll tell you now, because now then we have the two bin families and then the newbies coming up, so after the goths so yeah i hope you guys like this I had, a, I had a fun time doing this this is a i don't know the dreamers are fun i don't think they're ever a playthrough i dread unless it dirk moves out and it is darren living alone because i just i can't do that i feel like at that point he would sell the house and get an apartment so maybe we could we could maybe, maybe we can reconsider that at some other point but anyways um yeah Join me in next episode when we go visit the goth family and kind of get a bit more of a wrap up of what's going on in the neighborhood. Um, cause we all know she's probably not getting married. <laughs> so that'll be exciting. Um, anyways, I'm White Lodge. Thank you for tuning in and I hope to see you soon. Bye.